Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to share my experience on how I transitioned from being a mechanical engineer to a game developer over one and a half years. So after graduating from mechanical engineering, uh, I got a job as a CAE engineer in a good mechanical company. This was a job I was aspiring for while I was in mechanical engineering and I was very happy that I got this job. So as a CAE engineer, I was working on a software which does uh, structural analysis and crash analysis of different cars etc. So I was working there for two years and it started to feel a little monotonous. It felt like I was not learning enough. So the work I was doing and the experience I gained in this company was not really transferable to any other job. So I decided to just switch fields altogether. But the question was what? So I started doing research on different career options and at first I thought I'll do something else in mechanical engineering itself uh, but the jobs were so few and the pay was also not really good so I started exploring and uh, I did a course on digital marketing and I also started to learn Python so one day when I was randomly scrolling through Instagram uh, I saw an ad for a course on game development. They were explaining how game development is a booming field with Web 3.0 and Metaverse coming up. So I decided to give it a try. So the course was actually very expensive. It cost like 45,000 rupees. But I was so desperate to like find something. I just decided to get into this course. So in the course, they decided to teach Unreal Engine. Although in India, Unity is more popular. in game development there are like two parts one is game design and second is like the programming part of it so first they decided to teach game design so which i enjoyed thoroughly they taught us how to like block out scenes and create level after four months of learning this they divided it into a group of five people and uh, asked us to do a short film in unreal engine so me and my friend like used to do some short films as a hobby Using Unreal Engine, it felt like I could get any shot I wanted. It felt like I had a whole production crew with me. We finished our short film and it was fairly okay for our first short film. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check this out. After six months of learning this, we got into programming. We were taught the basics of blueprints in Unreal Engine. There is this visual scripting language called blueprints where you don't have to like actually type the code, you just connect few nodes. Although I really liked game design and making levels, I started to love programming for the first time in my life. I always felt like I was not intelligent enough to write code, but blueprints made it really easy for me. I could prototype something very quickly like throwing a grenade or spawning bullets and check the progress of it instantly. We did several small game projects during this period, prototype of a Mario game and other small small games and we learned about like animation trees, AI and as a final project we were asked to make like a pretty big game so we can add it to our portfolio to show off our skills. I was so confident about my skills in Unreal Engine that I decided to quit my job in like 3 months which means I would have like another 3 months of probationary period so a total of 6 months to like properly learn Unreal and get a job but as I googled Unreal Engine programming jobs I found out that there were so few Unreal Engine jobs and most of them were in Unity or it required me to learn C++ so I decided to not do my final big game and started to learn C++ so I made a 6 month plan to learn C++ from the basics and also learn C++ in Unreal Engine and finally get a job. At this point, the second wave of COVID had reduced. So my company asked us to come back to office and work. So I barely had any time to study C++. So I took up this course in Udemy to learn C++. For the next two months, like I woke up at 5.30. So from 5.30 to 8, uh, I could work on my C++ and then go to office. The course was like 33 hours long so according to my plan it had to be completed in 2 months uh, so I could start working on like proper Unreal Engine after that. Uh, but by the end of 2 months I realized I was not even close to completing it. Uh, so I had only 4 months left and I knew that at this pace I could never quit my job. But I continued to work on C++ for another month. Uh, it was really challenging. It, I felt like I was using a part of my brain that I had never used before. Like my confidence just fell because I thought I knew everything in game development. Uh, but I realized there was a lot to learn. So I decided to stop this and took up like a more specific course on Unreal Engine C++ by 
game dev tv and this was the best course i had ever taken and it went through all the concepts of c++ from complete beginner to actually building proper game using c++ so at this point i had put all my energy into learning unreal engine that i could hardly work at my actual job so i was getting very bored so i decided to just put my papers so i had like another 3 months to learn unreal engine completely and uh, get a job completing this course uh, by game dev tv actually took me quite a lot of time by the end of 2 months i completed it started to expand upon this project on my own adding some features you feel like you know everything while following a course but once you start doing it on your own you realize how little you know and you don't know answers to so many questions and there's no one to help you out so after one month i stopped with this project and also my job also ended i was unemployed with like no portfolio other than this course so i had worked on 3 4 game projects from the uh, udemy course and i had expanded upon it so i had a little bit of confidence but i still had nothing to show so i decided to make a portfolio website so i decided to take a 3 month break from working and uh, work full time on building a portfolio and getting a job so instead of like 3 hours to work on game development i had like the entire 24 hours show off my skills in unreal engine i decided to make a pretty big game project i used to play this game called league of legends which i really liked so i decided to make a clone of league of legends i worked on this project for almost 3 months and uh, I, i made like character ability using this free paragon assets uh, from unreal engine although it was super janky i got a lot of confidence doing this project then i participated in a game jam Although I could not complete it fully, uh, this also helped me revise all the concept like creating the character and stuff I had, which I had really forgotten. So I got a freelance project uh, from the boot camp I attended. It was a small VR project. I had to make a paragliding simulator. Although it was pretty small, I could put something on my resume and say I am a freelancer. So this actually really gave me that boost to actually get a job. So after doing all these for three months. I put everything on my LinkedIn profile and I finally got a call from someone. They were actually looking for a mid to senior level employee, but I knew that I couldn't miss this opportunity. So I sent them my portfolio anyway and messaged them saying I'm willing to work for free uh, to gain some experience. I didn't get any response, but I kept sending him new projects that I did every like one week. Finally, he called me up and he told me that he's willing to give me an internship and he'll give me like ten thousand rupees for the internship period for every month. So after three months of doing internship there, uh, I finally got a full time job in the same company and I was also given a good salary package, which was actually more than my previous company. So it all worked out well. So this was my experience on how I got into game development. Please let me know your thoughts on how you like this video. So if you are currently working in the game industry, please let me know your experience as well in the comment section. I'd like to really read them. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and see you all next time. Bye bye.